Hi, Django is a fantastic framework to build websites and web applications. Maybe you've been playing around with it for a while and now you want to take the next step and start earning money using Django. Maybe you want a full-time job or just a little side income. Anyways, there are many different ways you can earn money with Django, but in this video I'm going to tell you about 7 of them. The first option is getting a full-time job as a web developer. This is the most stable and probably easiest way to start earning money with Django. But if you don't have much experience, it can be a little bit hard to get the job as a developer. But there are things you can do to increase the chance, like building a portfolio or start uploading code to GitHub. There are many places you can go online to search for jobs, like Indeed, FlexJobs, Remote Python or just LinkedIn where you also can show what you have worked with earlier. The salary is usually pretty decent and you don't have to think about administrative tasks like getting new clients, invoicing and similar. You can just show up at work in the morning, do what you are paid to do and then leave in the afternoon. And after that you don't have to think about it until the next morning. The second option is freelancing. Freelancing is a great way to earn money with Django. It can give you a lot of freedom if you do it right. The negative sides of freelancing is that you need to spend a lot of time searching for new clients so you can get the money you need. You also need to do administrative tasks like invoicing, following up with clients who doesn't pay and similar. And this is normally very boring things but it needs to be done when you're freelancing. A few places you can go online to search for available jobs is guru.com, freelancer.com and Upwork. These are, these are all very great but there are a lot of competition. At the beginning you will probably compete against people who are willing to do jobs for very low prices. So if you are a beginner you need to think of this as an investment of your time. Because when you are done a few projects and hopefully get good ratings you can start increasing your rate. And the third option is building a SaaS. A SaaS is usually a web application that people subscribe to and then they pay a monthly or yearly fee to you. There are tons of different things you can build for SaaS, like time management, task management, uh, uptime monitors and similar. Building a SaaS is something very many developers want to do because it can give you a lot of freedom if you succeed. Because if you're lucky enough to build a SaaS that many people want, you can get a lot of freedom. A SaaS is usually something you can build on your own and maintain by your own. And this way you can take the work with you around the world if you wanted to. The hardest part about building SaaS is getting users and that you will be competing against other SaaSs around the world. But that should not stop you of course. You just, need to make, you just need to make sure that you can offer something they can't, like lower prices or better features. If you're interested in building SaaS, I suggest you to go to indiehackers.com or productant.com. Those are very good communities for people who want to build things online. And then the fourth option is building an e-commerce website. This is a little bit like the SaaS. You use Django to build the service and then you need marketing skills to get customers. And getting customers is the hardest part about running an e-commerce. By the way, if you want to learn how to build e-commerce, I actually have two series where you can learn this. I'll add a link in the description below. And then the fifth option is building an open source project. Many people think that spending time contributing to or building open source project is a waste of time because you can't earn money on it. But that's totally wrong. I know there are a lot of people who earn a lot of money doing this because people can support you by donating money, pay you to implement more features, or they can pay you to train them on the software and similar. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And the sixth option is selling digital products. You can create a CMS, a blog platform, e-commerce website or similar that people can download and install on their servers. So this is almost exactly like the open source project, but the source code belongs to you and people pay a license fee to borrow the code from you. And the downside here is that it's hard to get customers if you don't have good marketing skills. By the way, if you watched this far in the video, you probably liked it a little bit. And I would be really happy if you click like below because that helps me grow the channel so I can add more content like this. But let's go back to the different ways to make money. And option number seven is start teaching people Django. 
teaching other people something is very helpful because it helps you get even better. I have learned so much since I started this YouTube channel. But it can take a lot of time because you need many subscribers or readers to earn money using ads. But luckily there are different ways to earn money as well because you can sell ebooks or premium online courses. You can people can become patrons, they can sponsor you or they can just donate money directly to you. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And I hope you also got a better understanding of what you can do to earn money as a Django developer. These seven different ways of earning money as a Django developer also applies to all other web technologies like PHP, JavaScript, Ruby on Rails, etc. Please add a comment below if you have any other good suggestions for how you can earn money online as a Django developer. If you want more content like this, you need to subscribe to my channel and also remember to click the bell. This way you will get the email notification when I publish my video. See you next time.